Yeah, yeah. Um, the music in Lost World is yeah, it's very important to the show right. for sure. Um, obviously, like you know, our sort of theme song um, was uh, that was created in our our first season, but the. All the score and all the source music is done by a company called Silent Joe. They're okay. sort of our music supervisors. But um, it is really important to the show. And the, the, what we try and do is use a lot of independent um, bands and singers and that Talk sort of thing. Talk to Canadian if we yeah. can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah so we try and, uh, which is because the sort of like the sound of that type of music and the tone of that type of music is quite a lot like our show. Mm-hmm. Um, we have, uh, yeah, we have some great people uh Marco over at Silent Joe and Amanda and Jody and um, they were all musicians themselves so they they sort of the process that happens is you know during when Emily's writing and when we're coming up that we sort of have an idea of what we're, we might want to hear or certain areas where we might want to put in source music like mm-hmm. actual songs mm-hmm. and then once the episode is done and we go into post the music is then presented to us and that's when that's when we actually put it all together so it's actually months after we've finished shooting okay. that we actually choose the songs and we choose whether or not we're going to use composition or source got it um, yeah and the source is all composed by our composer um, so yeah it's, a, it's actually a really interesting process but it happens quite later like much okay. after the uh, filming it's some good cues we got Duran Duran this year Hungry Like a Wolf that was like <laughs> one you write into the script and you're like there's no way we're gonna get it right, right. and then you're like oh my gosh so yeah that was amazing because you never actually know the truth is you never know what's gonna be like out of price range and what's gonna be like right, yes we can use that so the writers of course yeah. will write anything right like sure Katy Perry we can definitely get that <laughs> um, but that was a really pleasant surprise so okay, that we got that yeah and we, we got a couple fun Stuff. Yeah, yeah we have some stuff, fun season. stuff in season four. Yeah, and yeah, we've been songs spoiled, so now recognize. we just write in everything, anything, <laughs> everything. Yeah, the Beatles, they're so cheap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. Madonna, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what can we look forward to seeing next season? Lots of fun, lots of sexiness, surprise, surprise. Um, kind of a fun season, I think. Like, you're really in the sweet spot for season four, I feel like, because the fans have come along for the ride. They've really bought into it, bought into the characters and the relationships, um, and really bought into the mythology. So I would say we're going to be pretty ambitious this year as far as pushing kind of the bigger world, the bigger fey world. But at the same time, you know, we left our gang fairly separated at the end of second, at third season, rather. So I think, you know, Bo's got to put her little family together. And uh, that's going to take some hard and fast work, especially as sort of the storm clouds are gathering. So big themes, big fun, big sexiness. <laughs> Duran Duran, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that's so third season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just kidding, yeah. Now, I saw, I saw the show um, grow in right. popularity through social networks. Oh, my gosh. Were you aware yeah. of that as that was yes, going on? Completely, yeah. Yes, completely. Yes. Interwebs? Definitely. Yes. Yes, my yeah. gosh, yeah. Emily's actually really active on Twitter, Thank and uh, it's, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a really nice way for mm-hmm. for fans to interact when we're not actually airing, so when we have, like, a break in between seasons, it's still a way that they can connect, oh, yeah. and, yeah, Emily's been really great about that, yeah. and uh, it's I love fun. it, it's, it's so really, different, yeah. even in, like, five years, uh, yeah. when I was 16, no, it's changed so much, right? Like, you really get sort of an immediate gratification from the fans, like, it used to be you sort of wrote something, 10 months later later it went out onto the television you'd be at home in your pajamas on the couch eating cheesies being like I hope someone liked that oh well um, but now you really get immediate feedback which is both a curse and a blessing you know you kind of have to steal yourselves you're not gonna make everyone happy but I just think we have such an incredible incredibly intelligent fun witty fan base I love talking to them on Twitter I think the Twitter thing has been enormous and you know, shows like this now are so international that social media really helps it find an audience that they would never otherwise find, which is so incredibly gratifying for our show. So, yeah, yeah and I think you know, and our, our actors are all really, uh, really good with uh, keeping mm-hmm. in touch with their fans that way too. I mean, yeah. they all, um, you know, Anna today is uh, yep. shooting, so she can't be here, but she's yeah. already sent out a bunch of answers and questions on Twitter and uh, that yeah. sort of thing, you know, or, you know, when when she had the baby, you know, she uploaded a little video for everyone to sort of keep in touch. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting mm-hmm. world we are in now where uh, fans actually have a way to really personally interact with uh, 
with the talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this past season, Kinsey keep, will keep kind of flirting with her, having some sort of ability or, right. power or a weapon or anything like that. Right. Is that something that you still are kind of balancing? Just every once in a while she gets active, or is her being the, the sole human right. more important than Right. Being able to well, it's her and Lauren are the humans. I always feel like I have to say that. Sorry, Lauren fans. I got you back. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but yes, it is sort of so tempting for Kenzie, right? She's she's really in between worlds right now, I feel like. Like, she is sort of part of this Faye family, but can she ever truly be part of it? Um, and I think part of her thinks she is meant for something in this world. Um, but that's a dangerous road, you know? What does that mean? What does that involve, you know? Um, but interesting to explore, you know? I certainly think, just because I love that character so much, her powers are her utter humanness, you know? Like, I read on the internet, someone said, Kenzie's powers is just collecting bros, you know? Like, Bruce and Vex and Dice and everybody loves Kenzie, but she's going to have to find out who she is, you know? And I think in season four, that's a real development we want to explore. So, stay tuned. Yeah. So what can we expect from Bo's father now that he showed up? Oh, you think that's Bo's father? Oh, I don't know. It's so intriguing. Well, I don't know. Um, I mean, the truth is she obviously has some very unusual parentage, and she has abilities we haven't really seen in other Faye before. I think she's sort of above and beyond your everyday typical succubus. But, um, you know, the family thing, that theme sort of looms large for our show, but really uh, you'll just have to wait in season four. Things are not always what they appear on our show. Um, so... You know, cue hungry like the wolf. Yeah, no, yeah, to see. Yeah, I'm out. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Um, you know, I, I think one of the interesting things about, you know, shows like this that have a hero's journey is right. the constant, you know, you build up to the family and you break them apart. And yeah, yeah. Up again. And, you know, is that something that is, you know, the, the community aspect, is that kind of a little bit more important to explore, especially with these people who kind of wait with souls? Yeah. Um, that's more important than say having someone floating. Oh, definitely. Like I think, you know, and you know, it's not the most unique concept ever. I mean, Buffy really started that and stuff like that. But I do think with a, so much of the theme of our show is can you be who you want to be versus who you're told to be, you know? Bo doesn't like choice very much, you know, um, on any level. And she sort of created a community of people who also don't want to be defined by, you know, the patriarchy or society. So I do think there's some strength in this modern world, you know, as we all make our choices um, about picking our family versus just being with our family. But capital F family, that always looms large for Bo. So we'll see what happens, yep. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons this show resonates so much with fans, too, because it really is, uh, uh, you know, it's all about um, everybody being ex- accepted for who they are, and, you know, that's something that's always been really important to yeah. our show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One more? Good. They're all done. I can, I, I can, I can do another one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we've heard in interviews before that one of the real force that show is the relationship between Bo and Dyson and Lauren. Right. Lauren seems pretty far on the outs right now. How are we going to no. bring back into the pool? Roller coaster, jet ski, <laughs> yeah, huge entrance. Um, that's going to be a big story to tell, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I feel like both Lauren and Dyson are kind of... Uh, stuck right now. I mean, Dyson kind of went off a cliff, which is hugely inconvenient to your love life. Um, And Lauren, we don't even know where she is. Well, I know where she is, but I can't tell you yet. Um, During during concert. Of course. Oh, great. Spoiler. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. But like I said, it really gives Bo uh, something to do, a hero's journey this year. I think she's got to put together this broken little family. And uh, then once they're together, oh, back to, yeah, but which one of you do I really love? So we'll see. Yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, have a great Comic-Con.